Having risen to fame through a viral video, Hasbla Mahamedov's journey from a viral sensation to signing a deal with UFC is nothing short of inspirational. But yes, there's a but. Have you ever wondered why Hasbla, the internet sensation, has a strict policy of not posing for photos with women? Join us as we explore the unique perspective of Hasbla and dive deep into the reasons behind its unconventional stance on posing for photos with females. Hasbla Mahamadov has captivated hearts worldwide with his hilarious pranks and infectious laughter. With a massive fan base across Instagram, Twitter, and various other social media platforms, Hasbla offers glimpses into his exciting life, where he fearlessly zooms in cars, playfully engages in fights, and even showcases his prowess with real guns. Imagine the thrill of meeting such an entertaining personality in person. Hasbla confirmed his Australian tour in September. I am very excited to be heading to Australia. I can't wait to see all my Aussie fans and visit these amazing cities. I've heard so many great things about Australia. I'm looking forward to all the great experiences your country has to offer. In a disappointing turn of events, social media sensation Hasbla Mahamedov dashed the hopes of many fans eagerly awaiting his world tour by announcing that he will not be taking photos with women during the tour. Hasbla, who gained fame for his humorous videos and suffers from achinodroplasia, a condition that makes him appear younger than his actual age, hails from the southeast of Russia and follows the Muslim faith. He has channelized his condition to attract attention on platforms like TikTok, amassing a massive following worldwide. With a staggering 2.6 million followers on social media, the star has planned a tour that is scheduled to kick off in August 2023 in Sydney, Australia. Fans were excited at the prospect of a meet and greet, finally getting the chance to meet their beloved hero face to face. However, the disappointing news emerged that Hasbro's meet and greet events will exclude the opportunity for women to take photos with him. Previously, Hasbro had limited his public appearances to sporadic and unannounced one-off events, making this tour a highly anticipated and publicized affair. It is unfortunate for his female fans, who had hoped to capture a cherished moment with their idol, that this decision has been made. While Hasbro's popularity continues to soar, this restriction has undoubtedly left many supporters feeling disheartened as they eagerly awaited the chance to personally connect with their social media hero. As Hasbro was all set to undertake the Australian tour, his tour management released an official statement regarding the same. The Hour Group confirms that due to Hasbro's personal and cultural beliefs, he regrettably cannot take photos with female guests. To our female guests, if you would like to attend the meet and greet with Hasbro, you are welcome to do so, but please acknowledge the limitations of photography. We understand the disappointment this creates. However, we respectfully acknowledge the cultural and personal beliefs of Hasbro and have to accommodate his requests accordingly. This resulted in outrage and a question started circulating in social circles. Why can Hasbro not take pictures with females? This is not the only incident, in fact. Former UFC flyweight title challenger Caitlin Chokagian came forward with a spicy revelation regarding her encounter with social media sensation Hasbro Mahomedov. Chukagian claimed that during a recent function, she approached Hasbullah for a photo, only to be met with a firm rejection. Hasbullah reportedly waved his finger at her and bluntly stated, Women, no photo. Expressing her astonishment, Chukagian shared her perspective on the Just Bleed podcast, suggesting that Hasbullah's refusal seemed more disrespectful towards women than controversial figure Andrew Tate's views on female protection. With Hasbullah's recent inclusion in the EA Sports UFC 4 video game, and his soaring popularity, this incident has added an intriguing layer to the perception of his public persona. What does Andrew Tate have to do with all this? Well, for those who don't know, Andrew Tate is a millionaire, social media personality, and former professional kickboxer who is popular for his misogynistic comments. Tate unabashedly states that women belong solely in the confines of their homes, should not be allowed to drive, and are nothing more than possessions of men. Even more alarmingly, he believes that rape victims bear responsibility for their attacks, perpetuating victim blaming and disregard for their trauma. Disturbing videos posted online expose further important aspects of Tate's mindset. He proudly admits to seeking out relationships with young women ages 18 to 19, claiming that he can manipulate and control them, leaving an indelible mark on their lives. His self-portrayal as a cigar-smoking playboy, flaunting fast cars and guns, is accompanied by shocking statements about physically assaulting women damaging their personal belongings and exerting control over their freedom by preventing them from going out. Tate, statement to NBC News, described himself as a successful coach who plays an online character. 
He stated that he creates videos praising women and teaches men how to avoid toxic individuals in general. Tate emphasized that his message is not about hating women, but about distinguishing between good and bad people. In a YouTube video titled, The Tates Address All Rumors, he denied accusations of being misogynistic, involved in human trafficking, and running a multi-level marketing scheme. Tate expressed frustration at the criticism he receives and asserted that he cares deeply, although he struggled to articulate it. Basically, Andrew Tate is a highly misogynistic person who is getting popularity because of his views. But don't jump to conclusions about Hasbullah, as he is not a misogynist. How can we say that? Recently, a woman took to TikTok to share an extraordinary encounter with this renowned figure. The TikTok user, Anais Gaspa, posted a video featuring a collection of photos and videos capturing Hasbullah and his crew having a blast at a hotel in Dubai. In the footage, Anais Gaspa revealed that she coincidentally crossed paths with Hasbullah at the same hotel they were both staying at in Dubai. The text accompanying the video read, When Hasbullah was staying at the same hotel as me in Dubai, TikTok users couldn't contain their excitement and flood the comments section with expressions of envy and awe. Some even admitted that they would have fainted upon seeing Hasbullah in person, while others declared that the lucky girl had lived their dream by meeting the beloved online sensation. Doesn't sound like a meeting with a misogynist, does it? Then why does Hasbullah have a strict no photos with women policy? The answer lies in Hasbullah's faith. Hasbullah, a prominent figure known for his online presence and devout faith, is reported to be a devout Muslim. His religious dedication is evident in his frequent wearing of the traditional Islamic skullcap, known as the Takiyah. Hailing from Dagestan, a region characterized by a majority population of conservative individuals, Hasbullah's upbringing is deeply influenced by the customs and traditions of his hometown. Despite his online fame and millions of followers, he has managed to retain the cultural values of his community. Hasbullah's decision to abstain from taking pictures with females may stem from his commitment to his faith and adherence to conservative customs. In Islam, the practice of refraining from physical contact between individuals of the opposite gender who are not closely related is based on principles of modesty, respect, and the preservation of personal boundaries. Muslims believe in maintaining a level of modesty in their interactions and behaviors, particularly between men and women who are not immediate family members or spouses. The concept of avoiding physical contact, such as handshakes or hugs, stems from interpretations of Islamic teachings that emphasize the importance of safeguarding one's modesty and preventing any potential situations that may lead to temptation, impropriety, or the violation of moral boundaries. By observing this practice, Muslims seek to maintain purity in their interactions and uphold the values of modesty and chastity. It is important to note that the specific interpretations and practices regarding physical contact can vary among different Muslim individuals and cultures. Some Muslims may choose to engage in limited physical contact, such as handshakes, in professional or necessary social settings, while others may maintain stricter boundaries. The level of observance may also depend on individual beliefs, cultural norms, and personal interpretations of Islamic teachings. Overall, the practice of refraining from physical contact between genders in Islam serves as a means to promote modesty, respect personal boundaries, and foster a sense of piety and purity in interpersonal relationships. Hasbul is a religious person and he's often talked about his desire to forego fame and live a life learning and teaching Quran. He has expressed his desire to become an alim, or an Islamic scholar. Hasbul's decision to refrain from taking pictures with females is something that should be respected. It is nothing to be criticized. He is not a misogynist, nor does he intend to disrespect women. While we may not have specific details regarding Hasbul's personal views on this matter, it is essential to respect his choices and boundaries. As he continues to amass a large following online, he strives to embody humility and respect towards others.